decide mm-hmm. individually because we didn't want to like force everybody to process that in front yeah. of each other. Mm-hmm. So we pulled everybody what? aside individually. Yeah. Wait. So you had to like break the news like 19 times? Yes. They had to break the news 20 separate times to every fighter on the event. <laughs> You go through and be like, yeah, so we didn't make any money for charity. Sorry, you did this for nothing. <laughs> Chris, Sorry, God. buddy. You <laughs> suffered brain damage for nothing. The blood There's, still like coming you out didn't, of you didn't, you didn't get any money for yourself. The exposure was minimal. Oh, and by the way, there was no money for charity either. But we're still the good guys. <laughs> you know, thank God we didn't allow Sam Hyde's people into the building. <laughs> We're going into the eye duck Wait, I'm gonna grab segment. Water, okay? But this is from, they were hiding behind their paywall with this, which is very foolish. They seem to be of the belief that if they do this on Patreon, there are no consequences. So they're going to talk about like a lawsuit that was pending against them, which I don't think is wise. Even if the statute of limitations on what he was suing about has expired, like they say. I still don't think it's wise to talk about the lawsuit and badmouth this guy who was suing you. Now, I'm not sure exactly who they're talking about, but the word on the street is the person that was suing them is the business partner of Manny Pacquiao. So he's like involved in boxing promotions or whatever, but nobody's really sure exactly who it was. Right. Rumors said it was Jake Paul, but they say it wasn't Jake Paul suing them. But they get up on here. They start talking about the lawsuit. They start talking about all this drama about Froggy again and Sam Hyde and Brittany Venti and Keemstar and rehashing all this stuff up. And it's like, why are you doing this? And it's crazy. This I'm is hyped. actually a really crazy f- podcast from these folks so this is from i think they're gonna say the date i think it's like april 20th they filmed this thereabouts april 28th it might have been but it's from the last week or two and for whatever reason they didn't expect that anybody would i guess because they don't have very many patrons to begin with Mm -hmm. they thought there was zero percent chance this would leak But this might be one of the most embarrassing ones. In fact, this probably is the most embarrassing podcast I've ever filmed. (laughs) Because it's just filmed with, it's just, it's just filled with cope, seethe, revisionist history, bullshit, and tears. It's amazing. All right, let's go. Amazing. Here we go. Give you guys the grease. We did fire Dane. Um, But he. So they have to start off with this humiliation ritual of Dane. (laughs) That they fired Dane, but he begged on his hands and knees to be brought back. That like, why are they doing this? That's sad. So as he said, please let me back on the podcast, please. So we brought him. Please <laughs> imagine let, like be begging to go on that. Like, what's going on with your life when this is your highlight? Like imagine the shittiest. This, no, but imagine this is your boss. This is total ghoul with her f-ed up teeth and her Jesus. smeared on excessive lipstick. Look at what a ghoul she is. Wow. And this is your boss. This is who you take orders this from. This is oh, scary. Buddy, please. Can I be back up, please? <laughs> On the 17th, was a, it was a big day for us. Yeah. Huge day. Oh, man. Okay. I'm um, excited. I'm excited for this. The, the statute of limitations came up on uh, uh, a potential lawsuit that uh, was looming over us mm-hmm. for... What a year! Yep. Ooh, did that clock run out? It ran out. It okay. ran out on nice. April seventeenth. I'm down. I'm just gonna give a rough. Give him a breakdown. I'm gonna give him a breakdown uh-huh. at any time. You can be like, up, 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 or we can like cut it, or we can like. So like, okay. uh, up, imagine up, up, this up. though. It's like recorded. at any point, you can cut me off, or we can edit it out. Like, how about you just don't give a breakdown of your private legal battles? You know. You know. But here you go. By You're the way, gonna start it back up again. By the way, the statute of limitations on this action is only a year. Yeah, I don't know if that can be correct. I'm not a legal expert, but don't you usually have more than a year to file your your case? But yeah. whatever. But by the way, up up up. It's like it's pre-recorded. It's not live. 
I know. So, but she can't. It, it doesn't even matter. But it's like it's just like assumed that she's a child that's going to get them into trouble and know, cause issues. When you start your sentence with "Listen, we can get into legal trouble," so let me know if I go too far. Just don't say that thing that you were about to say at all. But I I think that people a Patreon should know exclusive because it's like like someone doesn't have five dollars and leak your shit. Like shut the. Exactly. Stop. Like the guy. I come on. It's like us posting on Cum Road and going, guys, don't tell anyone this. Fucking wild. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, she acts like, like it's like an invite only. Like he's so stupid. We were being yeah. threatened, um, with a lawsuit over Based. they wanted to have part ownership of Creator Clash and a bunch of other shit. They wanted like lost money. Let's go. Oh, Lost no. money. By the way, you can just see how uncomfortable I Dubs is during this oh. whole thing. Like he's shitting a brick. He's like, oh my god, what is this stupid dumb bitch gonna say? What is she gonna say? Which, oh man, you know he's stressed. He doesn't yeah. want to do this. But this was Anissa who got fired up and was like, let's do a bonus. We're not getting enough podcast members, Ian, and that's your fault. Because you've been constraining me. You haven't let me do the drama and the grease that I wanted. So let's go into all of our dirty laundry and bring it all back up. Certainly we won't get felted. Like, this is what it is. Nuts. Yeah. I love this. They have lost money. Let's see. That they should have been paid, basically. Which, none of, we're not paid. There's no salaries, so. Wait already like <laughs> they had no idea what the infrastructure of our business was clearly well the well, business the clearly is your business zero was stupid it's no it money was stupid there was no money for anything it was a loss and how it's a loss actually. How, the, how they managed <laughs> to lose money on this just blows me away right because on fifty thousand pay-per-view buys even if it was at the low end and everybody bought early for twenty dollars they still brought in two million off those pay per view buys. Right now, most of them, I think, were at thirty four ninety nine. So they brought in like upwards of like four and a half, five million dollars in revenue off the pay per view alone, plus the live gate, plus whatever merchandise they? they sold. Yes, they claim that they sold fifty thousand pay per view. Like, so how the f did you lose money on this? And it's like because they had to have a gala, they had to have this fancy party and oh, venue like, rented out. Well, it they was double the size of the original Creator Clash. Of that. Yeah, so they were yeah. counting on that they would have double the revenue as the previous year, which like any idiot could have told you was not going to happen. Just because they hired twenty, like ten, they got ten more fights. Than the previous year of just no name bums who nobody knew. The only reason anybody tuned in was either for I Dubs <laughs> versus Wasabi or for uh, what's his name? Uh, the epic mealtime guy to fight the Harley? wrestler from WWE, Harley to fight the wrestler. Mm -hmm. And then there were a bunch of people who would have bought it to see Froggy Fresh and the drama with Sam and see him fight. Uh, what's his name? Holy shit. Uh, 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 the guy Anissa crushes on what's his oh, name? Um, he did SJW Chris the musical Chris, Chris Raygun. Raygun. Yeah, Chris Raygun. Chris Raygun. But they burned those people. They yeah. burned those people. Their their own arrogance and pride led to the failure of this event, along with their totally gay like sissy attitude. Their f attitude. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know how we promote our fighting event? By everybody being friends and getting along. If everybody's friends that all get along and they're just having fun, people will definitely pay to see them fight. No. People want to see people that have a beef that hate each other with a rivalry fight. They want to see promos back and forth building the hype and press conferences. They just have a fundamental misunderstanding of the fight business and industry that they were getting into. And people that tried to help them like Keemstar... They shit on and like it bit the hand that tried to feed them because they're sick in the head and they have this belief that they're like so righteous and they're doing it the honorable way. But in fact, they did it the stupid way and then there was no money for charity whatsoever and they themselves lost a quarter million dollars. Yeah. And they're going to just cope and cope and cope about it 
But we're on the lawsuit part right now. Sheesh. Um, well, and they, they, they just quit. Sam just quit? as well. We'll get into the more of the Sam stuff sure. later is when they get into it. But I would say I would uh, venture to guess they saw that we raised one point three million for charity the yeah. first year, and they're like, "Well, if they're giving one point three million to charity, there, there must, must be, be a some... couple million going in their pockets." <laughs> yeah, some grease. Yeah, um, to the point actually where uh, honestly, maybe there should have been so you're not like poor well, and exactly. begging on the streets now. <laughs> exactly. Like maybe exactly. you could made a, a percentage when. We were being uh, threatened to be sued. Uh, they actually said the lawyer said that they didn't believe us that we lost. Uh, <laughs> imagine arguing. No, I swear we lost all I of it. I swear we lost everything. You gotta believe me. I'm a bum and an idiot. Is that like? They have to like show their their. Home they have to go side. into court and prove that, that they're, they're idiots. Poor? Listen, here's why we made all these bad financial decisions. Here's this one, this one, this one. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and they wanted us to like show our like back end basically mm -hmm. um, and show them that we lost money. They like uh, said that. They, so you, it was like proven without a yeah. shadow of a doubt that you guys stink with money. That this is insane. It this is really fucking, crazy that I they're talking about sucked. any of this stuff. Yeah. I swear we were terrible. And Bo I Black. cut down a lot of this section. Oh, here's Bo Blacks. Here's the C that Bo, Bo Blacks. Blacks. And show them that we lost money. They like uh, said that they used the Bo Blacks yeah. video yeah. as like proof. The what? Bo Blacks yeah, video. The Bo Blacks video oh, was admitted into court. Look at I Dubs there. He's like, F I wish he didn't mention Bo Blacks right now. Oh, oh no. Look at this. Safa face. E. You know what he looks like? He looks, looks like Jim Carrey from Me, Myself, and Irene. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Ladies and Why? gentlemen of the jury, I would like to submit this video by <laughs> Bo Blacks. Twitter you versus. Can see here, your honor, on Twitter versus, he proved <laughs> that the event must have made money. Even yeah. though, uh, uh, if you he come out. He has a shirt on that says, I really wish you didn't mention Bo Blacks <laughs> right now. He has the button like Squidward. <laughs> like imagine seething about Bo Blacks. The seed that he's about to unleash is like a nuclear level seed. Oh yeah, yeah right. All right, all right. And you and you make videos where you aren't uh, necessarily alleging things, yeah. but everything that you're saying is like an implication. Yeah. Uh, well, to be fair, he just reads the in tw like Twitter. But he's saying that Bo Blacks needs to be held to journalistic standards. <laughs> <laughs> and that he's like gonna no seriously he's seething about commentary community and Bo Blacks not adhering to journalistic standards <laughs> because it, it hurts people it hurt him uh, it still it has real world consequences yeah. I really I really appreciate the real it, guys. world really consequences no not the real world consequences Listen. that I Dubs and Anissa got felted this is like when no. Clog was like. They like they make jokes about me. It's like who cares? Like We're listen. Supposed to sit here and cry tears for him when this guy did content cop. Where was the journalistic integrity of content cop? By the way, was right? it reviewed by like a board of journalists at the New York Times before he put it out? Exactly. Or did he? Or did he just put out the information that he thought was accurate at the time and gave his opinion on people that he thought were pieces of shit? But, you know, it's okay for him to do that, right? Mm. Even though now he goes, oh, forgive me, forgive me. I was so wrong to do that. I was racist and sexist and homophobic and bigoted, and I was a bully. But just because you p it out doesn't mean the whole internet no, has to. But here's what's f He already made all his money off of it. Yeah. So it's okay for him to make millions off of that. And then once he's financially secure, he can pull up the ladder of edginess. And this is a problem with a lot of people. Like Sasha Baron mm -hmm. Cohen, for instance, yep. who did Borat, throw the Jew down the well, and all those bits of the past, like the running of the Jew, Ali G and Bruno and all that. Yeah. He now says that that sort of comedy is unacceptable. Right. After he already made his millions from it and is set for life, he then pulls up the ladder of that sort of comedy from everybody else and says it's unacceptable. And it's just bullshit. And that's the problem I have with this guy. And he's going to go around and police everybody else. Oh, it's not fair. How dare commentary do this 
close to me. It's like, get a grip, buddy. You ended Leafy's career. You were collecting scalps. You felted rice gum. You felted Tana Montague and, Keem and dropped at the, the point. hard R on it. Yeah, and Keem Star as well. At that point, like it didn't hurt Keem for like a bit, right? Um, but uh, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. And now he's crying about it. Oh, and by the way, Bo Black just reads tweets. Is like an implication. Yeah. Uh, it still it has real world consequences. Yeah, it and does. it's it bullshit. Crazy. Some lawyers trying to use this as, as fucking, an argument. Yeah. Good. So so funny. Anyway. Good. That's funny. Okay, so just like a really... Because, <laughs> I mean, Anissa and I, we've been together for so long now that, yeah. like, we we can pick up. Like, I know when... Fe so funny. When, I was going to say Fiona. <laughs> Fiona. <laughs> he was about to call his wife the Ooh. dog's name. That's so felt it. He's calling Anissa the dog's name. Look at this chick. She is a dog. I mean, you look at her and, like, whoa, buddy... Look at this face. You think that that smile, um, a villain from that horror movie smile? <laughs> <laughs> I know when Anissa's like, like, does not like someone yeah. or Pause. someone is rubbing. You don't have to know Anissa for a long time to know when Anissa doesn't like yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to be Anissa's <laughs> husband or anything. Anybody with any IQ at all, or not even IQ, just anybody in general can tell when Anissa doesn't like somebody because she's super <laughs> transparent and vocal about it and has like the most like obvious resting bitch face and like obvious reaction. She wears her heart on her sleeve. You yeah. know what I mean? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know when Anissa doesn't like somebody, <laughs> but go on. And honestly, I take it as a badge of honor. And you know what? If Anissa doesn't like you, it means you're probably doing something You're winning. Right. So this guy in the business meeting was probably doing something right. Being her the wrong way. Yeah. Essentially, this person who was trying to sue us, um, they wanted a third of the uh, pie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sitting in a meeting once. Yeah. And it's and like, it's like oh. you now actually owe us money because a third of minus... <laughs> Go you know, you, well, you can have a third of our debts and obligations. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, so they're trying to characterize this like this guy was just in one meeting and felt he was entitled to a third of the business. Uh -huh. I don't think that that's true. No. Like, I don't think there's anybody who's actually like, maybe, maybe it was, but I feel like there's a lot more to it than what they're saying. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it's the guy not was Dane, in. By the way, someone chat was asking. No, it's not Dane. Uh, it's no. the guy who was helping them with Creator Clash. I'm assuming this person maybe like was emailing everyone, the organizer maybe. I don't know, to be honest with you. I have no idea. And that's why I left this segment where they're talking about the lawsuit pretty short. Because I just genuinely don't know. Yeah. But the one thing I do know for sure is talking about this is a pretty f***ed move. Yeah. It's a pretty galaxy-brained maneuver from these two. And telling us about their business that we didn't want. Yeah, and it, and it seemed very clear that they were. Imagine joining Creator Clash when you thought it was big, right? And I dubs going, this is it. I'm going to be a millionaire. This is it. This is my in. And to all these events, and we're going to be fucking, I'm going to be blowing up. And you're like, you lost money? That's why he's suing. He's like, there's no way. Really? Yeah. Like he's just blown away about how, how, how fucking. That's crazy. Frustrated. No, 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 yeah, she's actually ruining his business. Yeah, no, the podcast is called My w Wife Ruined My Career. Yeah. Right? Is it? Is that what it's yeah, called? No, it is. No, that's what it's called. She yeah. did. Uh, that, like, once they found out that there was, like, no money to be had. Yeah, then uh, it was, we don't believe you. Yeah, then it was, like. Which is mm -hmm. crazy. He wanted $150,000, though. That's what he ended up asking for. Right, right. Well, like. I will crash into the f earth mm -hmm. before I let like anyone f with me any further. Yeah. Um, Whoa. It, Whoa. <laughs> so she's saying that she decided because the lawyer sat them down. Their lawyer sat them down and said to them this. He's like, okay, he's asking for $150,000. 
if you fight this in court, it's probably going to cost $100,000 in legal fees. And this guy doesn't have any money for us to collect. So you probably shouldn't fight this in court. We should probably just pay him out and move on with our lives. But Anissa's like, I will f***ing crash into the earth before I let anybody f*** with us. First of all, what a so statement. she wanted to take it to court. No, it's just unhinged. Like, she's honestly loses her mind throughout the course of this. Both of them do. They get angry. They get sad. It's like a roller coaster of emotions throughout this. And it's just conversations that really should be had privately that they then decide to broadcast publicly for everybody to see. It's kind of crazy. Right. All right. One second. There we go. Any regard. And that's where we were with that, where we were like, fuck it. I will lose. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want this guy to like think that he can yeah, like run around shaking down. So we were like, okay, yeah, this is Yeah, what we're, we're ready to battle. We yeah. basically decided like, okay, we're going to ride this potential lawsuit all the way through. Yeah. Like we're ready. Not the king. Yeah, we're still not uh, the king. <laughs> you know, we we had lost money on the event. Yeah. And Here we even go. saying that was like not enough. Can like just imagine for just this everybody so listening. I had to look John Hennigan, which John Hennigan is like was one of my idols growing up. I had to oh, look him in the eye. So we're supposed to believe John Hennigan was one of her idols growing up. Because you know, John Hennigan was the wrestler John Morrison. Okay, he yeah. was he was Johnny Nitro before that. He was in a tag team called Eminem, and then he was in a tag team with the Miz. This guy though was not like a high level wrestler. He was like very much a mid-card wrestler, but apparently he was one of Anissa's heroes. Anissa was a big wrestling fan growing up, was super into this mid-card wrestler. I guess we'll just take her at her word, even though I doubt this very much. But um, she had to tell him, she had to look him in the eyes, and you're going to hear it. They had to tell every person individually how they lost money and nothing would go to charity. Oh. And then they get slapped with a lawsuit right after. It's so felted. It's so felted. And tell him that the event that he like trained for and boxed in and like whatever made no money for charity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we had to. This is bad. <laughs> this is like. Like oh. posting your L's 101. You know what I mean? No, like, it is. Holy. They're posting all of their L's. In this, this is like segment. we forced them to do this episode. Nobody forced them you know to do I mean? this episode, though. Nobody was even pressing them about any. They just decided to self-report all of this for pity. Like, please, guys, feel bad for us. What's... It's like it's your own mistakes and bad decisions that led you to this point. But they're going to try and frame it as evil Sam Hyde stole all the money from children and da-da-da-da. Wait. How much does their fucking, uh... Patreon make? Yeah, I'm looking it at makes eleven $1 hundred a month. Ah! <laughs> Imagine exposing all your felts for eleven $1 hundred a month. F we had to tell Wasabi. We had to. Oh, Carbuncle. That's not minimum wage. That's way less than minimum wage. Yeah. Split. Between them. All and these they think they have to give Dax Flame a cut, too. Oh, no. Not Dax. Like, man, Dakota was, for some reason... Dax like Flame was okay to make fun of and sort of like, uh... Not to, like, work with him and make an actual show. Yeah. Like, I thought he was, like, pretending to be... But he actually is. I thought for years it was a joke. But it's not the hardest for me mm -hmm. do you know dax flame was in project x was he really he's the guy who films the whole movie really yeah because why is he working like for these guy. two <laughs> i don't know because he lost it all because he lost it all i we we actually went to a, a do you know dax flame was the reason i started making videos really on youtube yeah <laughs> holy fuck yeah, I swear to God. I wasn't aware of all of this Dax Flame lore. Yeah, no, I actually thought it was funny. And I'm like, oh, I'll make videos. F it. Let's go. Party. And he hated me because I made a, a video making fun of him, but it was like cheeky. 
And he yeah. kept commenting on my videos like, you're mean to me. I'm like, no, I'm a fan, I swear. We had like a big argument in PMs. They were called PMs back in the PMs day. Do you know this? Then, yeah. yeah. Personal we had like messages. A yeah. Big like creator clash party. Everyone All roads lead to Andy, by the way. You see this? Forrest Gumpski. Forrest Gumpski, I was about to say, yeah. Aside mm -hmm. individually, because we didn't want to like force everybody to process that in front yeah. of each other. Mm -hmm. So we pulled everybody what? aside individually. Yeah. Wait! So you had to like break the news like 19 times? Yes, they had to break the news 20 separate times to every fighter on the event. <laughs> you go through and be like, yeah, so we didn't make any money for charity. Sorry, you did this for nothing. <laughs> Chris Sorry, Ray buddy. Gun. You suffered brain damage for nothing. The blood There's, still like coming you out didn't, of you didn't, you didn't get any money for yourself. The exposure was minimal. Oh, and by the way, there was no money for charity either. But we're still the good guys. You know, <laughs> thank God we didn't allow Sam Hyde's people into the building. <laughs> thank God we refunded that like $12,000 that he spent on tickets. That money could have went to charity, but I guess not. Thank God we, you know, ruined the fight that had the most hype about it, the Froggy Fresh hype that actually had people interested. Thank goodness we ruined that and then dragged our own reputations through the mud. It's great. Wow. Guys, we made nothing. Oh, man. We lost 250K. Yeah, we didn't want to, like, make a grand announcement. Like, yeah. let's do all this in one shot. Yeah, no. But it was really f Hard. Although, if we were to do it again, I, I think I would choose to do it that way. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I, listen, if I could go back, we probably should have just did a Discord call with everyone at the same time. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Because that really made me suffer a lot more. Well, yeah, because it's like a whole day. So it's a I whole know. day of holding the L and having to tell everybody you're a loser and a failure. Maybe you should have let them promote the fight. They even they have a point. I cut it out because this is like it was long and rambling and stuff where they admit they're like, yeah, maybe we should have had it in the contracts that the fighters had to promote the event and had to talk to each they other. And didn't? No, they didn't. There was no requirement for any of the fighters to actually promote the event in the contract. <laughs> and they wonder why it failed. Or I decided we were going to fall onto our like dullest, rustiest sword and spin around 10 times. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's hard because you want to. The dullest, rustiest sword they fell upon to suffer the most. It get ready because it's gonna hit like a real low point where it's it gets it's so good. Oh, I know it's been a little bit of a slow burn so far with the lawsuit and stuff. Now no, this good. is really right, yeah. starting to come into its own. This is like the fine filet mignon of like the I Dubs and Anissa felt. Like, get ready. Uh, do things uh, like, all right, all right. Right in my in my head, I was like, oh shit! Like the least I can do for these people who fought on. Card is to mm -hmm. individually talk to each one of them yeah. and try to answer all their very specific individual questions. Yeah. If it's they... just everyone, uh, why, how? You know, why did you take really? it upon yourself to do that? <laughs> you didn't have to do that. No, 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 no. I'm saying that was their questions. The fighters. Yeah. Why? How? Why? How did this happen? Are you Didn't kidding me? Tell, like, <laughs> what's going on? There were a lot of people in this arena. How did we waste all the money? Are you? <laughs> you know, I agree with Lock on Stratos. They should go on Caleb Hammer's financial audit. And we, need, we need a full audit and breakdown. Because I still don't even believe. Like, I don't understand how they lost money on this. You know, it doesn't like... make sense to me. If 50,000 people really bought this pay-per-view at $35 a pop, mm. how are you losing money? Crazy, right? They needed what? 100, no, 200,000? We watched it. It was the first studio, right? We yeah. watched it, and the, then it, it was glitched out. Wasn't it glitched? Yes. And then so it was I think on I YouTube. Actually ordered yeah, so I think I actually ordered you their did. pay per view. You did. You did. I think I paid. Yeah, I think I paid the thirty five dollars. Mad. And it was like glitched out. It was lagging. It was bullshit. And then the illegal versions were actually yeah. working. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. what the? F 
Fuck you. We're watching on like one of those like those websites that have like the chat room. Every username is about like Hitler. And you're like, you know, chat's that's pretty wild. <laughs> Pirates win again. <laughs> they have them. Um, I, I mean, don't know. There's a man. lot of care. We care. I there's mean, like no <laughs> doing it right. No. Lost money. The night that we lost money. This is like not even a joke. Ian's so good. eye needed to be stitched up. And my. <laughs> so imagine your eye dubs. You've suffered brain damage for this. You're f bleeding from your eye. You have to get stitches. And then the results come in that you've lost all this money. No. This, oh, yeah. This is like a, a piece of felt sistons. Like, it's so good. Oh. Okay, ready. Uh, Leonardi, who is our partner in Creator Clash, he's like the boxing guy that we work with. Um, he's the one who drove us um, with his partner at the time. They're now, I think, they're married, but um, drove. We don't care. Us to the hospital, I don't. and um, <laughs> American hospitals, especially in Florida, man, that was a trip. But we're well, sitting okay. there. With She's like pretending like the American hospital is like a prison or something. It's like. No, actually, like, American hospitals are a lot nicer than Canadian. I don't know how to break it to her, but, like, American hospitals, you don't have to sit there and wait six to eight hours for care in the ER. You know, you can actually, if you have insurance or you have money, you can be seen right away. You know? Like, I, 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 I don't know. She's like, she has to make this point of, like, denigrating the American hospital, which I take umbrage with because the Canadian healthcare system is... Waiting for the doctor yeah. to come in to stitch Ian's eye up. And we're trying to digest the idea that we like only sold 50k pay per views. And we looked at each other and we were like, Do you want to just like kill ourselves? Kill ourselves? <laughs> like, literally. This is like, imagine telling the world this. Like, what are they thinking by telling everybody this? Yeah, guys, please feel bad for us. We were considering killing ourselves because we failed at everything. Does anyone we lost like... the fight. We we lost money. There was no money for charity. We were embarrassed and humiliated and Sam Hyde dabbed on us for me choosing to have an OnlyFans or whatever. But, uh, you know, guys, please feel bad. We were going to kill ourselves. Like, what a loser. Like, like there was, like, that actual, yeah. like, thought. It was just like, what? So, wait, they're, like, it's not even like, like, oh, kill me. It was like. Do you want to kill ourselves? Like, do you want to just they're like... No, they're talking about seriously considering. That's nuts. What the like, like, what the what f we do? Yeah, what are we what supposed happens? to do? This is like, not... I have never felt so horrendous. Yeah. Like... You should have felt like that, yep. Yeah. We're having this conversation while we're waiting for the doctor to come in and stitch your eye up. Yeah, it was one of those moments where you're just kind of like... We did everything we could right. This no, makes bullshit. This makes me happier. Yeah, and you're right. We're saying bullshit. Okay, I'm sorry. The Froggy Fresh and Sam High drama, that would have brought in so many sales. What the f wrong with you? You embarrassed yourself. You did everything <laughs> wrong. Literally. Yeah, they did everything they could to ruin it. From overpaying for the fighters, their hotels, their meals overpaying for the venue, the venue yeah. booking an overpriced gala after party and like having the decompression session where they had like the extra day to talk about their feelings. I think they like hired therapists, therapists? For, the, for the fighters. How, they, how do you like, feel Chris Reagan that we replaced your guy with a giant black man? They did everything oh. they could. They did everything they could do. They caused a massive public controversy shitstorm. Yeah. Because they were embarrassed that Sam Hyde outsmarted them with the documentary. Like that. And they're upset that the, the guy on the fight that they got was in communication with Sam Hyde and he made some jokes about Anissa's OnlyFans. He was the only one even trying to sell these fights. He was the only person giving any sort of excitement at all or any sort of build up toward everybody else wasn't doing shit. And you had this massive drama where you guys looked terrible where you were censoring people, you didn't let people express their opinions, you kicked the guy off the card, and then you, like, instead of just, like, 
coming out and like clarify, okay, this is why, da 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 da. You like stayed silent about it, sent out Harley on damage control. Do people remember this? Like Harley Morenstein with his broomstick, like his mop, like a janitor, going into every Twitter thread and arguing with people who had like 12 followers. Do you remember this? Yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Anybody who had Sam Hyde merchandise got banned from mm -hmm. the venue. They were even like, it, it was like, like paranoia out the ass at the venue. Are you a Sam Hyde supporter? Sam Hyde's behind every blade of grass. Why it wouldn't was, you though? Was lunatic. But, but why wouldn't you like see what was happening and then like lean into it for views and be like, oh, we could use this as promotion, right? Like, that's the perfect opportunity. It's not like Sam Hyde is some like psycho fan with no viewers. No, it's like a famous guy that you could like use to sort of like bring in the drama and controversy. Well, they should have booked him to fight on their show. Yes. To begin with. Yeah, but he was I, like mad still about the We can't accept bullies money. They're all bullies and racists and we can't. And we're going to get into that because they talk about the interview and how evil Sam was and how they weren't trying to make a hit piece. They were really trying to help Sam. Oh, and yeah. Like, That's bullshit. And we all know it's bullshit. You won't even believe it as we get through this more and more and more. All right. And we yeah. cared. And, like, we... Uh, I felt like we provided a fantastic product, mm -hmm. and it you was shit. Your body twice. It looked it so was shit. bad. It the was the production. Boring. The production was bad. First of all, like it like, was way, it was like way too dark in there. It did not look premium. The fights weren't very good. There was no build up to them. There was nothing interesting. It was terrible. It no, was a boring, no pre, boring show to watch. No pre drama. Nothing. No like. Trash talk. It sucked. Was there even a f***ing, um, a press conference? There might have been, but I don't remember uh, it. Yeah. You, like, really, we really believed in what we were doing. And then to be greeted with pirating to the point where, like, we couldn't Greeted with pay pirating. Back. Pirating happens like, all the time no matter it what. It happens to everybody. The, the zone every, gets pirated. Like, every you know event mean? gets pirated. No, every UFC is pirated out yeah, of ass. Every boxing pay-per-view is pirated. And it wasn't just... And they're trying to make it out that it was like these evil like Sam Hyde fans hosting no. it or these evil trolls hosting it. No. It was on all the usual pirate sites. Maybe there was the odd special site that was... I doubt it, though. I didn't see that. I didn't see like mass coordinations to pirate the Everything fight. Everything is pirated every time and, it happens. And so what's the excuse? Always. The first the first fight was also pirated. So what's your excuse? Yeah. The excuse isn't revenues. You guys still brought in millions of dollars in revenue. The problem wasn't a revenue issue. It was an expense issue, which Anissa was in charge of. Anissa was the one who was running this shit, running point on it. And she's the one that overspent like a drunken sailor and left no money for children, left no money for charity. That's what happened. But Look, it's just this revisionist bull. Oh, it was the pirates. Okay, first of all, everything's pirated always. Secondly, you, had, you gave people incentive to pirate your shit. It's like when, when Ubisoft goes, you'll never own your game, right? Like, you have to pay for this game, and we own yeah. it. Well, people are going to pirate it now, and, well, fuck you. And you don't have to even feel bad for it if they're going to do that, right? Like, that's the, the idea between pilot. So she, doing everything that she did, people who like Sam Hyde were like, well, fuck her. I'm not going to give them any money, but I want to watch the shit show, so I'll pirate it. Right? You gave people if you're gonna sell something that, that can be pirated it so easily. Have, it shouldn't have happened to us. But 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 Ashton, you agree with this, right? If you're gonna do something that requires uh well, yeah, that, you, that can you be pirated, you listen, have to make it, it the was best a, possible. Yeah. yeah. It didn't work. And through the official channels, it wasn't working. Exactly. Properly. It didn't work. So it, it, I don't know what to tell you. And anyway, let's keep going here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we had like put on the table to put on the event, yeah, like was such a emotional gut punch that I feel like I'm never going to get over. Like the pirating, good 
having websites up because people felt like we made the wrong decision mm -hmm. pulling but someone. That's not even right. true. No. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think that there were these websites that were done by Froggy's fans or no. Sam's fans to pirate it's it. It's the same it, people who do the it UFC. It's the same and shit. piracy. Yeah, it's the same people who put up pirate uh, streams for everything. They also do it for KSI and for The Zone and for Misfits. But Misfits is still running a profit. Yeah. You want to know why? Because they're actually intelligent and they and they have like promoters and friends in the industry who know how to make this shit happen. You guys chose to try and do everything on your own and pretend that it could be this magical, fun, let's all be friends and let's all touch each other's for a boxing event. That's not what sells fights and that's not how you make money. And they just refuse to live in reality. Whereas all these other companies are still making money despite all the piracy, they failed. Mm -hmm. And then they're just going to cry, oh, we're entitled to make money. No, you're not. You didn't put out a product worth a shit. To make sure that, like, not only charities didn't get money, but we lost money yeah. as, like, a punishment. Listen, well, I also no one wanted to watch the fight for the charity. There was no interest. No in one it. gives a f But who, who's like, I want to watch the fight because I want to help charity. No, you're like, I want to watch the fight. Like the charity, see fights. Like, like no one's like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna pirate it because charity. Stop it. I'm building it around charity was so. F it was dumb. The one three, three million. They estimated it was three million people pirated the event. Mm -hmm. Second year, okay. we decided to do the the gala, which everybody complained about. Not everybody, but some people were like up their ass about us like doing the gala. Well, um, I wonder why, because you lost money. How do you, you estimate? Lost the pirating, like three million. F Shut the f it's up. That's bullshit. bullshit. Three and million. The idea that those three million people would have spent thirty-five dollars, like three million people didn't even order Ash. Connor versus Habib. No, Ash, Ash, like this is delusional. This, to think that three million people are watching live on pirating sites. Think of any live stream you've ever seen. Th three million views three live. Million. Stop, Stop it. Four. Stop it. We decided to do that this year because the first year, everybody got punched in the head. And then the very next day, everybody's mm -hmm. getting on planes. And we had all these feelings that we hadn't processed. These the, feelings. The, the, you know, the fight like business this... isn't about feelings. Yeah. They got into the absolute wrong business for what they <laughs> wanted to do. There's no other business that's like less about like empathy and let's get all along and let's all be friends and let's not be hostile than uh, literal violence. Like actual like man on man like violence beating the f out of each other, like this is not a business that's for like sissy like liberal people. Yeah. Like the, the main fans of UFC and boxing tend to be pretty conservative. And they're pretty you intense. Whenever, yeah, and they're pretty <laughs> intense, and they want to see blood, and they want to see like violence, and they want to see crazy press conferences where the guys are yelling at each other and calling each other bitches, opposed like Garcia Haney. Like you notice how. When the UFC, like Trump shows up, the crowds cheer him. You understand, like, this is not really the business that you should be in because you don't understand it and you don't want to understand it. You want to make it into something it's not, yeah. and you utterly failed. And you just want to blame everybody else. It was the pirates. It was Sam. It was Froggy. It was it was commentary. It was Bo Blacks. You know what they should have done? They should have done, so you think you can dance like YouTube? Right? They should have been like, so you think you could dance or like the voice yes. style. Like it should have been like done a show like that. Like, like a reality talent. TV like or talent act, you know? show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like exactly. It should have been like yeah. that. Yeah. Not boxing. Magical, like movie moment where it felt like this was the right it thing was, to do for everyone like, as a thing. Are you listening to this? She just called the gala a magical movie moment. You understand, if you're more concerned about magical movie moments than you are about so, money... It was for her and, ego. It's all it was. Yeah, it was a vacation. It was, it was a vacation. Yeah. It's all it was. It's Thank my magic. To have them be here and be with each other and, like, mm -hmm. be celebrated because, you know, this is a huge thing. And we had to sit there while we knew that we had lost money. Mm-hmm.
and go through all of that. Yeah, that was really painful just hearing, like, having so many people come up, sort of asking, inquiring, like, so, like, uh, how'd the event do? Yep. Like, you know, <laughs> what are the numbers? Yep. And, oh, man, you can see the tears in his eyes, man. Buddy, you can see how stressed it felt in the end. He used to be the biggest creator on YouTube, like, one of, probably top 10, I'd say top 10. And the response that I had to give everyone was basically like, oh, still we're waiting. still still counting. You know, Yo, imagine you're sitting there at the gala. It takes a little while for them to come in. Don't have any official numbers yet. Yep. Um, at like a idea suffering. Yeah. I guess. You know, pirating. Suffer. Uh, hate campaigns. God, hate campaigns. So Just drama in general. I imagine hate referring campaign. to it as a hate campaign. People just the hate language you, but... that they use is so like the delusions of grandeur. Like we were just trying to fight for truth and righteousness, and then these bullies came in with their <laughs> hate campaign, the digital terrorists, and they were just trying to spread hatred and bullying, and we were about love, and they took everything away from us, our magical Disneyland moment. Like, get a grip, guys. As, as I, out of, like, like, I could, I have real life experience in this. You think when I, I was knocked out in 29 seconds, it was good times on Twitter. People were no. shitting on me. It was like, is it a hate campaign? And I'm like, yeah. Is it a hate campaign? They, they, they're all, yeah, it makes sense. Yep. I sucked. I got knocked out. Like, see me cry about it? No, I just went, well, yeah, I sucked. I was balls, right, guys? Do they have <laughs> no self-awareness that referring to it in that way just feeds it more? The hate campaign. And the hate campaigns, the internet digital hate machine of Anonymous, and they were trolling me. Like, by his own standard, isn't Content Cop a hate campaign? Well, it is. Against, it's like targeted harassment of an individual. But it's okay when he did it, right? We should watch gonna, them one is day. Is he going to look at the ad revenue that he made off every one of those videos added up? I know he did a charitable donation already, but he really should add up because he, he's now get, going forward giving all the ad revenue. But he should go back, look at how much he made off Content Cop, tally it all up, mm -hmm. and give it to some charity. It's one thing to have like hate videos be made about you, but have hate videos be made about you while you're like spending million plus ah! Mm -hmm. Who cares? So now, but you know what this does? It encourages people to keep f***ing with oh, them. Oh, yeah. Like, it's so stupid. Like, you're on the verge of tears. It's one thing having a hate video made about you, but to have a hate video made about you while you're down bad. Oh, my God. That's the best as time if, to do as, it. <laughs> as if every other creator doesn't experience horrible hate videos. Again. Like, pretty much. Yeah. Like, no, no matter who you are, even Mr. Beast gets hate videos. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like, this just goes with the territory. And the stuff that they've experienced isn't even that bad. Even SS like, yeah, Sniper I say, Wolf. Andy, like, you have been with far more By a lot. Than, they, yeah. than, than they have. <laughs> yeah. Like, the shit that they were doing on... Like, it's bad, it's bad. man. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. bad. They weren't dealing with any of that shit. But they're going to cry and cry and cry. Dollars <sighs> on an event that you know can, like, be swayed by public opinion while training. Yeah, I got trolled, like, Lewis. <laughs> like... Those last two weeks when you were giving interviews and you, you didn't know, like, what was going to be online that day and, like, what were people saying and what was the, like, I mean, it got to the point where, like, you you couldn't even advertise on your own socials. Yeah. Even just for your own Yeah, sake. I was like, That's I don't even want to fucking tweet anything. So, yeah. so, so I listen to this. They were so bullied and so trolled that they couldn't even promote the event themselves. So for them, not receiving criticism not getting made fun of and bullied on social media, that was more important to them than actually raising money for charity. And right. then we wonder why they didn't raise a single penny for charity and, in fact, lost a quarter of a million dollars by their own account. Why wouldn't you lean into it, though, you know? Like, workers are going to, like, just constantly, like, ream me yeah. over this decision that was very f justified. Yeah. Which, Pause. And it why, why was it justified? 
about the uh, froggy because froggy made fun of his wife doing only fans yeah so where was it in the contract that it said that he couldn't make fun of your wife's only fans did you tell him that you can't make fun of anisa's only fans like you know what i mean like they handled it in the worst way possible the best thing they could have done is just let the fight go on and maybe buddy would have got up and got brain damage and they could have laughed at him it would have brought some level of interest to the fights to have a guy who's feuding with the promoter i don't know do you ever consider like stone cold and vince mcmahon exactly you know you know like when you have somebody who's going against the boss was, of the event was people perfect. get interested in that it was perfect it's an interesting storyline and then, you know, everybody who saw that Sam Hyde and I-Dubs documentary, and it's like, okay, well, Sam has his fighter, and I-Dubs has his fighter, and you could have brought Sam in to promote it, and he's very charismatic and entertaining, and he would have brought in his people. And let me just say this. Sam's people pay. He brings in a lot of money. He can bring in a ton of money and viewers to your program. That's why you wanted to do the documentary on him in the first place. No, or what? Like, come on. They're so dumb. They went about it in the worst way possible and they're still crying about it a year later. It's wild. Yeah. Had nothing to do with like the OnlyFans comment. Yeah. Which still like, Oh yeah, there's yeah, there's loads of like r things that we so can wait talk a minute. about. I feel so like so. Wait a I minute, mean... it didn't. They're just saying it had nothing to do with the OnlyFans comment. Then what was the problem? Yeah, Sam Hyde. Tell us. The trading was Sam Hyde. Oh, Sam Hyde, rather. Well, they, here, let's hear them out. All right. At this point, it's like we're a year away yeah. from it now. Uh, the the one thing that I would change is like. I love our team and I love our PR team, but I think that that was such a unique situation. Wait, you had a PR team and you still did the fuck? They should be sued. How I your, know. How does your PR team the go? PR no, 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 no. Advise them to do it. No, this you, way. Ha you have to. You have to lean into it. Like this is a bad idea. You look. You look like shit. Your PR team shouldn't be your people who block people. It should be people who like help you promote. No, but what they're doing, yeah. they're passing the buck. Oh. To, they're trying to blame yeah. it on the PR team that they were advising that. And it's like, the truth is, the, the be-all, end-all boss of this was Anissa. Mm -hmm. Like, the buck stops there. You're the owner. You're, you know, they're going to even say that they were the experts and they should have taken more control. The truth is, they did take control. They were the supposed experts and they up horribly because their egos and their hubris led to the event failing and i want to trust the professionals but the lack of information is probably what has mm -hmm. hurt us the most yeah and i think a lot of it is we give lack of information because we don't want to kick the hornet's nest yeah that's what Maybe. i'm afraid of is kicking the hornet's nest yeah same yeah same. Well, that's what it is so that's one they basically admit that they live their lives in fear that they're so scared of what people on the internet are going to say that they don't advocate for themselves properly or disclose information that could vindicate their names. Which, by the way, I think is bullshit that they're so scared considering they're doing this right now. Where Wouldn't you consider this kicking the hornet's nest? Doing this podcast, rehadging all this old drama? bringing it up again and again and again and talking about Froggy and Sam and the business side of it all. Isn't that kicking the hornet's nest? Exactly. I don't know. She caused mad problems. Mad problems. I mean, unfortunately, with <laughs> okay. the irresponsible type of like commentary videos and reporting. Irresponsible uh, type of commentary videos. Like, look at how absolutely butt-blasted he is in this frame. Like, zoom in. The irresponsible commentary videos. Ooh. Like, I'm sorry that commentary Are videos aren't the New York Times. How dare they give their opinions? How dare they give their, uh, their, so their opinions online that it was wrong of us to fire Froggy? Now, we're not going to give them any sort of information that would compel them to see our side because we're afraid to kick the hornet's nest. 
but trust us, we had a really good reason for firing him. We just can't say it. It's like, give, give me a break. Your response. Why do videos have to be responsible? You know, it's called like drama entertainment. Like just, just a up. Irresponsible. Basically well, the all. idea that people like are, I don't know that they're going to take it like that seriously as well. Exactly. Like, holy shit. Like, like implied to the audience. And there is no amount of like, uh, like there's no amount of journalistic integrity to like take responsibility for like the bro. It's why do you exp why do you exp I, I don't understand like so did he have like a journalistic integrity on content cop do any like, of us was, have that was was there a panel of people that like went through and, okay this claim was sourced properly through journal like come on this is bullshit you're fuck. expecting like some random like channel on YouTube to go through like journalistic best practices. And by the way, nothing they said was wrong. Everything they said was totally <laughs> right and was vindicated and proven righteous by the fact that your event failed. You're just a big baby that can't handle the criticism. I, I love how his criticism, you remember he did that video about the buddy uh, in the, in the parking lot cart narc. Yeah. Did that ad adhere to journalistic standards and integrity? Right. Like, where was his editorial board that reviewed the video and signed off? And what makes Can we his... see the names of the journalists who reviewed your uh, essay? What makes his criticism valid and no one else's? Of the... Well, he's, a he's allowed to criticize, right, without any journalistic constraints. But Bo Blacks is a serious journalist working for the Washington Post who has to make sure every single one of the things that he says that are his opinions are credibly sourced. Give me a f***ing break. Cry me a river, bro. Like uh, Content Cop. No, Content Cop does still exist, by the way. Um, it's just he unlisted them. But yeah, someone was asking. Yeah, this is Content Cop message Holy. that you're spreading i know well also directors like that because they're also the ones who clip our podcast you sit through an hour that's and us they're that's seething us. they're that's seething fat yeah i know that's us. See I, no and I, I wouldn't even, we have criticisms that we'd like to make and we want to make fun of you and make people laugh which apparently it's okay for you to do to other people but not okay for us to do to you that's she how it works. she did this oh, is a hundred percent about us. <laughs> like I want those people to forget that we exist. We will never. We <laughs> never you, forget. We wake up and think Anissa's husband and then Anissa. You know? Yeah, I would prefer that. And like you you don't have to watch it, bro. No, we do no. actually. For <laughs> our it's our job. It's now my job it's our to job. watch this character. I took this burden upon myself to carry the heavy cross of clipping this garbage. <laughs> you asked they're seething. Like you they just, are seething. Just don't. So like, but it's they you know when you tell us and the thing is not most, we do most more. Most people don't. Most people don't watch. To be fair, they get like between three to five thousand viewers <laughs> total, not live viewers. Replay viewers yeah, over like weeks. on the podcast <laughs> from a guy that had 7 million subscribers, one of the biggest guys on YouTube. Everything he touched turned to gold, but as soon as you got there, it all turned to shit. Yep. And now it's over. We're in the process of flushing the bowel movement, formerly known as Content Cop. It's tough. They, they, they just have nothing else. Yeah. No, we got review tech. Uh, uh, we yeah, got we got neck. we got lots of stuff. We got, what do you we mean? Got, I mean they, got they, they, else. they have nothing else. It's like we have a live show that we make money and it's our job. Like, they have nothing else. Like what else do you want us to do? That's what we do. That's like being like they just review games. They got nothing else. It's like, yeah, but that's all they do. Well, they're gonna try and say that everybody who criticizes them is an incel. They're actually going to make this claim. 
that the only people who you know think that the podcast sucks are people who can't get laid or the yeah. only people who have a problem with these but they forget that one of their most prominent critics is Brittany Venti, who's a woman. Yeah. Like Brittany Venti felt in these so right on the face of it, they're fing felted. But it's like, oh, you have to have in order to have an opinion on me. Like, get a grip, guys. And there's plenty of normal people with girlfriends and jobs and stuff who still think that you're losers and dunk that on That insult is pathetic smokescreen. Get ready. You know. I don't think people understand this. We had to, like, have the FBI involved. The Whoa, okay, Larson. The okay. FBI was involved. We had... um. The, the police, the Tampa Bay police were involved. We had to, like, track so, flight logs. But, yeah, the, okay, I don't know why they had to track flight logs. Wait, I guess you... to figure out what Sam Hyde fans were coming or whatever. <laughs> but What? Everybody who runs a major event, because the venue they were in is, is the, uh, the venue where the Tampa Bay Lightning play. Okay. It's a 20,000 seat arena. Everybody has to have a police presence, have them, like... Uh, go through the building looking for bombs and pre-clear it. If you don't, you can have an event like what happened. What was it? The last event was it a Misfits card where there was a bomb threat, and because they didn't sweep it beforehand, they had to shut down uh, the event. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean. So this stuff does happen. It happens to everybody. It's not just magically you that had to deal with it. That's nuts. Mm -hmm. To see who was coming, who was flying in. But yeah, does she think we care? It's like, well, it's a big you, pity party. Why are you a logging us? If we have to deal with this. We deal with a couple things too, Anissa. You don't see us. Um, for for many, we had many many names on that list. There were like, um, oh my god, two bomb threats. Okay, we had two bomb threats, mm -hmm. okay. and because we had the FBI involved and all of this beforehand. We actually did a bunch of bomb sweeps with dogs during, before, mm -hmm. after the event. It, yeah. it was insane. Yeah, that way when the bomb threats like essentially come in, I think they could essentially be These like, live yeah. shows are like such a bad idea, aren't they? Like, uh, there's such a th like, We've been clearing we it. We cleared it ahead of time Con and, constantly. and no one's come in and out. So it's yeah. kind of like it gives them a lot more uh, confidence. confidence that these are just, uh, you know, Swatting basically. It's swatting. So yeah. Like, okay. what are, am I in the right place? I know. And we it's stepped like... on such a landmine that we did not know was a landmine at the mm -hmm. time. Yeah. yeah. Which sucks. You know, yeah. to have it's that crazy. explosion. Guys, could you mm -hmm. guys like pick up the energy? You know what I mean? Like they're just terrible. It's just like, like they're talking no... about like the feds having to come in and bomb threats and domestic terrorists, Sam Hyde and it's just with the lowest energy possible. But they're talking about that we stepped on this landmine and how could we have known like that Froggy was gonna do this to us? And, ooh, oh like, man! During the the they waited. He waited like mm -hmm. three months to start being weird. Yeah. Or oh, that's like what, you're what a yeah. weird no, no, way yeah, to see, view it. That he, he waited three months to start being weird. Like, how about he wasn't weird at all and he was actually trying to promote his fight, mm -hmm. get eyeballs to this event, and make money for charity? Could Have you considered that? Well, he like, only went after Anissa after she was shitting on him for training with Sam Hyde. Yeah. Like, it was a reaction to what she did. So... It's usually, like... Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Save yourself. Yeah. Or oh like, my God. Shut up, bitch. This bitch is so stupid and horrible and is ruining everyone's <laughs> lives. That would be so True. much better if that was the average comment. Yeah, you know, it would the be very funny. Comment. Yeah. All right, you heard him. Oh, yeah. The mean <laughs> hate comment. Oh. <laughs> the um, uh, the thing about like having somebody comment who yeah here immediately comes, confirms the that they're in a stuff. relationship. I think maybe that signals to you immediately that they're not an incel, which are True. like oh, you know, interesting. the majority of the people who are leaving hate comments. Mm -hmm. Oz, this is the guy calling you incel, by the way. <laughs> Wait, he's saying no. the people leaving hate comments are all incels? It's yes. like, how about this? People in relationships also shit on people. Like, 
Well, the people who are in relationships are very well qualified to shit on iDubs in a niece exactly. relationship because it's clearly toxic and f up. It's you obvious. Know? If they had just come out, and, and Ian even admitted this in the video that he did after the event happened, where he's like, yeah, we should have just came out and said, I hate Sam Hyde and I don't want anything to do with him. Mm -hmm. But you knew that that would make you look bitch made. So you were trying to avoid it at all costs, but you still ended up looking bitch made and in multiple ways. Because everybody still knows that you were afraid of Sam or like tortured anguish because you weren't the puppet master. And also, you didn't communicate properly with everybody, and they got pissed off with you for doing it. So it's really dumb. It's really, really dumb. Yeah. They, uh, they definitely don't have a relationship. <laughs> Let's yeah. just put it that way. There's absolutely no way that any yeah. of these people have girls. D d okay, first of all, okay, yeah. <laughs> first of all, secondly, do you? I know. Second of all, uh, I dubs he's in a relationship and doesn't even have sex. <laughs> Friends or wives. Mm, right. Yeah, that's it's parasocial in a very, very specific way. Uh you know how there, there's people who uh like when Pokemon or something like let slip that she's like dating someone? Yeah. Yes. Mm. And then like okay. the whole like world <sighs> First of all, like it, it, it really like the hatred doesn't even have as much to do with Anissa as it does with the fact that iDub's content sucks now. He does <laughs> that's the truth. If iDub's was still putting out content cops that were on the level that he put out back in the day, most people would overlook Anissa. But because the content has gone to complete shit, because iDubs has gone against everything that he used to stand for, he was anti-politically correct, he was edgy in his humor, and now he's just become this totally castrated gimp that observes all the politically correct rules. He makes this sanitized nothing burger gruel content with no passion behind it. People are pissed. And then iDubs and Anissa make their relationship the center point piece of all the content and it's just everybody sees how f***ed up the relationship is they see the manipulation they see the humiliation of ian the rituals that he goes through on a daily weekly basis and they're like this is f up and they call it out for what it is it has nothing to do with people like i wish ian would be my friend or it's not the woman that i would have got or i can't get pussy so i'm angry like that's not what this is Ooh. at all but they just have zero like self-accountability or self-awareness to see where it went wrong yeah loses their shit yeah like that is because in their mind they're like i have a chance with this girl right, yeah. right. like are they trying to say that, that the people, people who leave mean yeah. comments want to Anissa? and they're rattled that i dubs is Anissa and they're jealous like <laughs> delusion yeah. the delusion that yeah we're on here. right well that's right and chat says he wants to sniff Anissa's feet so there's one guy but buddy <laughs> Anissa is a cautionary tale for anyone who was thinking of of getting into a relationship of a woman who will change and manipulate her way through your life that will ruin everything that you stand and believe for. She is the reason that people are scared to get into relationships if they aren't in, in one. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? She's the cautionary tale. Like, yeah. And that eliminated it somehow. Like, yeah. Yeah. It uh, breaks her heart. But so, but like this is like the male version of that with you, I think, because people, whenever they like looked up to you being like a bachelor, they're like, imagine hanging out with you, mm -hmm. gaming. Yeah. No, and, I think uh, that's true. And whenever they see that you've shacked up, you know, with a wife, they're like, oh, he's gonna be too busy with, you know, with his <laughs> wife to hang out with me. No, I <laughs> like. Wait, wait, wait. So <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> like. like the copes he, that they're coming up with here. He's married, so he won't be able to make videos for me anymore. That's unhinged. If you think that's what people are thinking, by the way. It's so, honest, like, delusional. <laughs> I, I personally think it is more about them living 
th- or them through trying you. to live through me or live through other creators. Oh, this is so crazy. God. This is a this is a take. This, this is, is a, a cope and a half. This is but, one of like, the takes. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not what they would do. Right. Because I'm loud. Right. And uh, annoying. And um, True. very. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stuff for yourself. Yeah, and I stick up for myself. You and make I'm, your opinion known. I don't. So you're a b- that no one wants to f- Congratulations, yeah. Lisa. Put you on a pedestal because you're not insecure and I don't have to worry about you yes. taking it the wrong way. You're like one of the <laughs> most secure. So she, she can dunk on him because yeah. he's secure in himself? Yeah. And he won't take it the wrong way. That's so funny. She's like, why well, just dunk on you because you're super secure, dude? Like, uh, Buddy, this is. Oh, you're the most secure person <laughs> in the world. Like, I have no radar for what people are going to get upset about because I'm like, well, this is just fucking. This is Anissa. I know, and you, like, but you, you truly are one of the most secure people I've ever met in my life. You've become less this. secure, mm-hmm. I would say, over time because your your world has kind of been shaken. And- Whoa! No, she goes. You used to be more secure, and then I started dating you, and then as I destroyed your, your world, you became shaken. less and less secure because your world is shaken. And look at <laughs> Idubs here. As he says, by the way, that he has no radar for what's going to upset people. You can clearly tell he knows that this is people are going to make fun of him for this. And he's actually going to point it out to Anissa, thus defeating his entire point that he has no radar because she's just totally normal with what she says. But when we first met in the first four years of our relationship, there was no one on this planet that could make you feel bad about yourself. Mm -hmm. Even that way. So then she broke you down to where you now feel bad. Like, is this a win? No, Anissa. This is a level of like honesty and straightforwardness. I think people would be. Yeah. They would be like, oh, no. Yes. Exactly. Your your wife made shook your world to the point where you're insecure now and you cry and you've lost everything. And we go, oh, no. Yeah. It's an oh, no. Is it? Oh yeah! Congratulations! You now feel shame and pain every day. Like, is that a win? Is he insane? Like, how do you not go? Like, yeah. Well, I could see why people would would say that me now being like afraid and insecure more than I used to be is a bad thing. Like, at least have awareness and yeah. disagree. Well, underpants gnome is pointing it out. Like, oh, legs are crossed. His arms are crossed. Her legs are open. He's definitely on the defensive right yep. now. Mm-hmm. You can tell. And he's trying to cope here and be like, no, no, no. It's, it's okay. Yeah. She mm. just said that he's getting more insecure with time. Oh, so they right? read it as like, yeah. Right. Like, I'm looking at what you're saying, like, as objectively as possible. Right. As a ca- casino viewer. Like, he's like, I know where they're going to. But by the way, it's not even like wrong. Is what we're saying wrong that over time you're becoming a weaker as a, as a human being? And I no. know that I've gone through some shit yeah. over these past like two or three years. Boo hoo, we've all been there. You a little unsure. And, no. Yeah, and it's it, like my world's opened up, but yeah. like the average person hearing what you're saying right now yeah. online, they would interpret that as like you don't have your husband's back. The average person, Ashton, the, the average, average human being on the internet right now. Yeah, exactly. So that's bad that every average no, person. It's, but, it's, but it's people on the internet are different than real people because oh. they're evil, right? Oh, you okay. see what I mean? Even though the average person does use the internet now, so the average person on the internet is somewhat representative of the average person in real life. Yeah. It skews a bit younger, but whatever. You need so to lie mm. to make him look better mm. or more confident or more solid mm. than he actually is. The people who are commenting like, bro, my friend had a girl like uh, her. Oh and my God. There was literally someone who said this. Right. My friend had a girl like her and he killed himself. Get- <laughs> oh, <honestly. laughs> it's like so righteous. Like ring it up, commentator dub. Ring it up. Someone in chat just went, I think I saw that comment. <laughs>
head out before it's too late, basically, is like what they said, which is like an insane mm -hmm. You know, like Anissa. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but, so but I, I like insane. how she's she's saying this like it's an impossible thing. You know, like that happens all the time, Anissa. It's not like a rare thing where someone kills themselves. It's like one of the top reasons people die. It's, it's they see someone like me. I don't look the way that they would probably want mm -hmm. their girl to look. I don't talk the way that they want their girl to talk. I'm not okay. thin enough because for a lot what? of these okay, guys, no, no one's talking about not that. Thin enough. No one's she talking actually, about that. She is thin. Yeah. She's like, like oh, what the is she talking what the about? What is she talking about? Um, I don't. My voice is, yeah. you know, lower octave, and so they. They want to live through you, and they have been just... living through you. Like every time you get a win, yeah, they're winning. Mm -hmm. No, wait, no, 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 no. You know what this she's talking crazy. about? You know what she's talking about? Every time in the clips that we do, every time like Idubs fights back, we're like, yes, come on, Idubs! Like we're rooting for him, right? She's like, this... don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. You weren't winning. I swear yeah. you weren't winning. Like This wow. is like the craziest cope and seethe sesh ever. Oh, buddy, it's not oh, good. Least, and the only reason they don't like me is because I'm fat and ugly and my voice is terrible and I'm annoying and I'm not thin. Like, it's just like, calm down. Yeah, like... Like, why are you so insecure? And then at the same time, they'll pretend like they are secure. Yeah. But almost every second of this is spent justifying themselves because they're <laughs> clearly not secure about it <laughs> because they know they're f***ed up. It's insane. And then when it comes to, like, the biggest decision of your life, yeah, who you marry, you marry me. Yeah. Instead of yeah, like and it was a mistake. This it was a horrible decision. It's not about skinny. It's about you ruining who he was internally as a human being. Oh man! Like you know what I mean? Right. I pitched either blonde or I guess they. Oh, what the f are you talking about? If you looked just like you look like right now, and you spoke the same way, blah, 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 but you encouraged him to continue content cop and not ruin his career. No one would talk shit. Um, as long as they were soft spoken and uh, thin. Yeah. And as long as nice. they got out of the way. And got out of the way. Yeah, exactly. And even my. Listen, your girl, when you're a millionaire, shouldn't get, like, not only get out of the way of what you're doing to make millions of dollars, but should support what you're doing. Right, Ash? Your girl well, shouldn't you be think, the one I mean, who's not like. Not even if you're a millionaire. I mean, just in general, yeah. you know, who uh, your significant I'm just other, his, yeah, your I'm just significant his. other shouldn't be out to publicly humiliate you at every turn, undercut what you do, tell people that you're white trash, tell people that you shit your pants, <laughs> like every single one of his errors and mistakes, she overanalyzes and goes into, overshares about their personal life gives ammunition to their haters all the time and everything for her is not about them as a unit it's about her 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 me 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 what's this gonna do for me she doesn't put him first in any way whatsoever she is a net negative to his life and she is just slowly draining away all of the resources all of the fun all of the manhood and masculinity from him and leaving him a hollowed out husk of a person. Yeah. That's what's happening. Why, why shouldn't you, oh, your girl and vice versa? Why shouldn't you pump each other up? You know what I mean? Like you yeah. think that that's... Why can't you be positive? Honestly, I've tried to quit this <laughs> podcast four times. <laughs> Whoa! Is that... So she's tried to quit the podcast four times because she knows it's a failure. And I Dubs has told her to keep it going. What is wrong with Ian? Ian's insane. You we'll know, get this... the casino. <laughs> okay, is this his his master? Pl is this really him being the puppet master? Where Wait. he's like, no, you guys got to see how f***ed up this relationship is firsthand and see our dynamic, so that you understand when I either divorce her or kill her. And this is him just like letting everybody know just exactly. It's his cry for help. <clears throat> The entire show is his cry for help. And Ian keeps going, no, yeah, yeah. which I'm thankful. I'm glad that you're not letting me quit it. I think that it's important. But I want, like, <laughs> it, just, it, it makes me so mad that, like, all, like, 
people think that this is me. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like, oh, I need to be in everything. Yeah. All the time. But I you don't. are. No, it's it's super disappointing. I mean, I I've seen those hate videos, and it's just like. It's so eye rolling. Yeah. I go from like chat eye rolling. You should see the views. People love it. <laughs> People they love, love it. it. Like they yeah. love it. The chapter, and it's like chapter. I don't know how <laughs> how you can even have that much content. Yeah, I know it's crazy. I know it's like an <laughs> unlimited content glitch. I don't know what to tell you. You guys are just producing right now. <laughs> you know, like. Twitter account. Yeah, I know. That's their own personal Instagram, whatever it is. And it's I'm like, their it's personal even... Twitter and Instagram, except it's not private. You know what I mean? Like, it's your public Twitters, your public right? Instagrams that you're promoting stuff on. Like, you could just not tweet or post on Instagram. You know that, right? Like, <gasps> how dare they? How dare there, they look at us oversharing and criticize that. It's, like, whoa. it's not like we dr hacked their Dropbox. And <laughs> what? Uh, what do not I even, even say shit. in it? Like, I'm sad yeah. or some shit? Like, it's literally, my Twitter's literally just like, yeah. I'm sad. <laughs> and has yeah, and it's funny. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me you write, I'm sad hey, on sad. Twitter. And you post it. And then someone's like, ha ha. And then you're like, how dare you make fun of that? You posted I wanted, it. I wanted sympathy and money for free. It's and the instead internet. people made fun of me for sympathy baiting and crying online. These two <laughs> are telling us all, like, they have it all figured out. Their way of life is so much better <sighs> than the way chuds live, all toxic and bully-like. Because they go to therapy and da 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 but meanwhile, they're sad. They're miserable. So why would we want to live like you if the way that you live makes you miserable and depressed? Do you understand? Maybe you shouldn't go to therapy. It's that way where uh, it's very lawyer brain. Bring it back. Bring it back. Like Did you hear what she said? I'm attracted to you because my dad is that way. Daddy Why issues. would you say Just this? the embarrassment of it all. Always she can't and help but felt to yourself and others. It'll always be this way. And I, I think it's something that I'm attracted to you. Like, uh, because my dad is that way where uh, it's very oh, lawyer so Look at his face. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Suffer, like, Ian. He looks like a, re like a PS2 rendering of a character. Or PS1, maybe. Yeah. Like Metal Gear Solid 1. Unless I'm 100% sure. Right, I want to corner myself. I don't want to corner myself. Yeah. And my dad used to say that all the time. I used to be like, I used to ask him something and he'd be like, um, you know. Oh. This is a conversation that if you're doing it on Discord, you go, I hope that didn't record that conversation. Well, yeah, this you know what I mean? A, this is not a public conversation. Like this should not be for public consumption. Yeah. But that's what their podcast is. It's like private conversations made public where they tell us all of their deepest insecurities, fears, problems, and then expect that nobody will laugh at them for it. You know? And then they get seething when people do laugh at them or criticize them for it, which then leads to them getting more criticism and more people laughing at them. It's, it's... a vicious cycle. <laughs> it's a vicious feedback loop of feltoning. The infinite content glitch. Oh, if yeah. this happens and maybe this happens, like we'll see. And I'd be like, can't you ever just say yes or no? And he would say, he's like, I don't want to yeah. corner myself. I have to think. I know. No, I was thinking manhunt, right? The way he and looks. Her fucking. But I don't want to offend James Roll Cash. I was talking to chat there. Brain just goes off. Yeah. If we interact with someone in public, I'm like, oh yeah, she can take the reins on this shit. Yeah. Um, I've gotten better. Did at you it hear that? I... Whoa! When there's an interaction in public, Idubs takes a step back and allows Anissa to handle it. Imagine, Anissa is the man in the relationship. Anissa wears the pants. Anissa speaks for them, and this goes back to in the therapy session when Idub said that he forgot how to express his own true feelings because he's allowed Anissa to take too much control. But we're the ones that are wrong for calling him cocked or submissive or whipped to his wife. But he's outright admitting that it's true. Buddy, that's ridiculous. 
And That's in some ridiculous. ways you can get very reliant on it. Mm-hmm. I know like sometimes I, I am too reliant on you to just take over. Yeah. Oh. Um, imagine making your look girl this, take like, anything over in public. Look at how, like, look at this, man. Look at his posture. Like, look at his facial exp- It's just brutal. This is, it's over. It's over, bro. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that, that happens all the time. And um, oh, the main oh. reason why Ian didn't have me in videos is because he knew that his audience didn't want it. Because you're not interesting yes. or, or well, entertaining. Then, well, the audience doesn't want it. So why are you here? Buddy. Why are you here? It's just to try and prove a point oh, that my the God. trolls are wrong. Like, you know, like what the f- Oh, man. Yeah. Do you think that's just plain what it was? You knew that- you know Mike Matei. He is dating that girl Aaron plays. Aaron. They stream on different Twitch accounts to two different audiences. Now, occasionally you'll hear Mike scream Fuck! on hit her stream through the wall, but they don't interact on their content. They do their own content because you guys are like, you do content for different people. Why well, Derp pro they- ass. Why couldn't she just make her own channel and have iDubs promote she it did. sometime? She, she did. did, and we're going to get into it. She can't handle it. So she's actually, this is where we're going to get into, I think it's coming up soon, the ultimate low point of this, where she's like, well, I loved streaming, but everybody was so negative and mean to me, and I couldn't do it anymore, and it's over. Based. And it's like, it's just, I don't even know. Like, you know, there's a fuck fuck's like Dark Side Phil manages to stream every day. Right? You know what I mean? Like you're telling me you couldn't throw it on like members only chat or some you know? shit like this yeah. on Twitch, like subscribers only. And then if people are mean, have like run a North Korea style janitorial <laughs> right? system. Exactly. Like there are answers here, but anyway. Your audience wouldn't want it and you wanted to you know you know how we did things because to be honest like that is what people wanted Mm -hmm. people wanted just you they didn't sign up for wow and and i think that's yeah wow like anisa's with the truth yeah the truth anisa Anisa utilizes truth it's highly effective right unfortunately the delusion has become more effective and they've somehow convinced themselves in some way that this is now outdated thinking and it's because it's racist or misogynistic or god knows what thing that like um you know was kind of always like governed my feelings about it is like no one subscribed for the ian and anisa channel right yes yeah. exactly yeah. this is my whole point you know people <laughs> subscribe for you i found a lot of purpose and love in streaming mm-hmm. that was my Here passion but Whoa. when we learned that that wasn't uh something that was viable there was just so much hate yeah i would get people either coming in asking about you how is streaming not viable it wasn't viable for you because of hate or it wasn't viable because nobody would give you money because you're untalented you suck you're boring you couldn't build an audience and you were lazy i mean i don't know maybe it was that you decided that instead of making streaming your career you were going to take off your clothes for money is it maybe have something to do with that that you decided that you only fans was the answer to be a girl boss and embarrass your husband and strip away his pride and his dignity. Mm. No, Spock, Spock, I'm amazing at it. By if the way. it isn't the consequences of my own actions, it's actually too easy. In my opinion, smug mug recently or mm-hmm. like hate towards me or hate towards you or, you know, um, then ban them. I, my career, the thing that I've really loved, like, I couldn't do it. Yeah. You know, I just couldn't do it. So we were trying. But for what reason? Is it, like, it wasn't she viable was financially? And soft. No, she's just saying oh, it was okay. because emotionally. of all the hate. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Emotionally. Okay. okay. Trying to find other things for me to do. And, and I, I wanted to stay online mm-hmm. really badly. Um, I found my community there. I, I really felt Well, purpose. didn't you have an OnlyFans uh, as your career? That's what you ended up doing. That's why you got all the hate. What, it didn't pay, pan out for you? It didn't pay? Is that why there's been no posts since January? Come on. Do we have, like, an example of one of her streams when she was solo? They do exist. 
They do exist. I'm somewhere. curious. I'm curious. And uh, so we, I tried to do commentary. I tried to. Accept. You made all sorts of different videos. Yeah, craft videos, yeah. baking videos. Um, yeah. It makes me sad actually. Yeah. Thinking about it because I. I have the stream highlights, bud. Oh no! And the do thumbnail we wanna... is her crying. Let's have a look quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. And Let's if it's see good, what the watch... Let's see what the evil haters deprive the world of. The all amazing right. content that we were denied. All right, here. These are the highlights. Okay. Listen, I'm gonna. Four, four Whoa, years ago. Whoa! Holy shit! She looks different. Jeez. Okay. You ready? She's like a different person. <laughs> Go get carrot sticks and dip, and then we're gonna play Slay the Spire. The chat's That's not moving. There's the no replay. chat. There's no engagement. Okay, there's like a couple people. She oh. just muted herself. She's a quirk chungus. Oh my god, this is like the ultimate like pick me nonsense. That was a highlight. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was the intro. Any second, we please build a Lego life together. Smile. No, absolutely not. Who? Wait, she what looks a this? lot healthier and better here, by the way. Like, <laughs> why she decided to cut all her hair and off? Cut up her own entire body. Yeah. <laughs> Mario screaming. <laughs> what is this happening? Is these are the highlights? It's all dead air. <laughs> Hi, I have a question for you. Do you, I, I don't have anybody else to talk to about this, but like, do you think it's weird to be sexually turned on by feet? Duty core, thank you so well, much for What was on the me. reaction? Oh, so it's just like like <laughs> the lamest prank call in the world, like with no reaction. This is the highlight. This is like she played. Do you, world think, of you guys think I could be like a carnival game YouTuber, but like a wow, like a wow <laughs> one? Ian's there. IRL stream guys, but online. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? It's me. Uh, we're doing the. Why is she whispering? Yeah, she is a great value, e-girl. So from what I understand, back in the day, she couple. tried to be, like, edgy and, like, anti-SJW as well. This mm. is my understanding of what her content was like back in the day. But I never watched any of this shit. This is shit. We'll get one, one more minute, guys. Prizes today. Wait, wait. Oh, my God! Oh. 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 That's... I have always wanted to look like whatever this is. <laughs> you can't even egg log is shit. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here, here's the payoff. You ready? Sorry. I believe you are responding to get yourself a lower age in your credit card. Is that correct? Yeah, but can you, I really, I have nobody else to talk to about this. I can't afford a therapist. I really, I just want a friend to answer this. I don't have any friends. Do you think it's weird to be sexually turned on by feet? It's a swing and a miss. <laughs> it's bombing. It's bombed terribly. That was <laughs> shit. What? A yeah. Yeah. It hasn't got much better. Like, They're so you know, like, sad. Look at how down like, bad they are. They're just destroyed. Ooh. I do feed over analytics. Very true. It's hard. I, I love doing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I used to get like a couple thousand viewers. I, I... No, you ha did not. No way. You had 200 subs on the top right. You saw 230 subs max. I mean, that's how we met. It was my career. Yeah. So, it sucks. No, oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's rough. Ooh! This is so good. Seeing her it's suffer over. is... This is... Oh, I'm so sad. Ah! 
the tear. Like I yeah. said, guys, they are like basically crying here at this point. Like these are actual tears. I think she was. Oh shit! Bro. I think she was. She was. She was crying. Get ready though. So, I Dubs is gonna come in with a literal cope. Is like he? we talk. <laughs> we talk about copes on this show a lot. We do. Sometimes we're stretching it, but this is literal cope, what he's about to say. And it's one of the saddest copes you'll ever hear in your entire life. You right now is like, what am I April. doing? Mm -hmm. But we're going to therapy. Yeah. We have a couple of dogs. Yeah. And, but we're going to therapy. Yeah. This is so yeah, bad. Dogs. bad. Yeah. And one of them's uglier than the other, but we won't tell you which one. Yeah. Pause. Like that's so down bad. Like they have hit absolute rock bottom there. Like Anise is in tears. She has no idea what she's doing with her life. They have no career. They have no path forward. And I dubs his only cope is to say, Well, we're going to pet we're going to therapy. And we have two fur babies. We have two dogs. So it's going to be okay. Well, I, I bet there are a lot of people who would like to see your stream again. Really? You think so? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Is he trying to make more content for oh us? Oh, my God. He's like, I'm sure there are a lot of people yeah. who would really like to. And she's like, really? She's like wiping the tears. from. You, you think so? Uh, you think please. someone would actually like it? Sad. Please, Dude, they're down please. so bad. But we'll watch you stream on the casino. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, why I do mean, you, I miss not? that so much. The hardest was, I think, what really did me in where I was like, I have to quit was like people clipping me out of. <laughs> <laughs> If you think about the people who get the amount right. of shit that like you get, it's juicy. Yeah, it's like Onision. Right, right. Like you're not an. Yeah, but the thing <laughs> is, here's the thing is, here's the thing is, here's the thing is, here's the thing is. Okay. Um, they in their mind they think people should only be criticized or a logged if they're pedos. It's like no, no, no. We like just mundane people who stink as well. Like you know what I mean. No, I mean, there's a very specific reason this is happening. It's there. There's a there's a multitude of reasons why this is happening, mm. and, and and the primary reason is that this just sucks balls, and it deserves to be made fun yes. of. Yes, it deserves to be made fun of, but also it's just that they're such insufferable smug victims that I just want to see them squirm. I want to see them suffer. It makes like, me happy. Yeah, and they're just like, they have the most bullshit, retarded politics that are totally fake and totally performative to try and fit in with their friends on the coast so that they can try and climb a ladder and a greasy pole instead of actually just being authentic to who they really are. Mm -hmm. They just live this fake slave dance of a life to where the podcast is just so shit because it's not a real authentic conversation. It's just them trying to be as inoffensive and bland as possible. Shit out an hour of just white noise. Well, and the only like parts of it that are even somewhat entertaining in any way are just when Anissa naturally destroys and dominates her husband and humiliates him. Yeah. And that's it. So they do deserve to be criticized in ALOC. They also refuse to take any accountability for the boxing, any responsibility for anything. And we're getting into now the Sam Hyde cry fest portion of this edit. This which they is went amazing. on forever and ever and ever. And Onision. <laughs> for bomb threats. And I was thinking, I was like, how did this all go so wrong? And I thought, oh, yeah, Ian got a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> That's like literally what happened. <laughs> yeah, and then he changed his entire like viewpoint on like and shit on his entire audience and called them bad people and yeah. basement like 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 a dwelling incels. And if you use the N word, you're a bad person. Yikes. Yeah. And we I mean, and it and it evolved to that. Like by what the way, the hell? how are you allowed to say the N word hard R for years? I know. Years, years. It's pulling up the ladder is what it is. Yeah. They, were, they were allowed to do it, make their name off it, make their money of, off of it. Now anybody else who does it is a Nazi yeah. and evil. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Oh, I know. That doesn't make any sense to me. It's 
you made nothing so but responsible decisions. Oh, well, come on! I mean, all responsible except, you know, fucking making a documentary about Sam Hyde. Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> like, I think that... Yeah. yeah, I mean, it just, like, kept coming up. Like, they don't... No one... None of these have any good intentions, right? Like... Pause. Pause, 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 pause. So Ian had really good intentions when he did the documentary about Sam Hyde, right? His intentions were to promote Sam Hyde, be really positive about the guy, glaze him, introduce him to a new audience. Come on. You're full of shit, yeah. Ian. You loaded it from the very beginning as a hit piece, and the confrontation that you had with Sam, where you were boiling and seething about the time he told you to squat two plates below parallel, you were holding on to that for years. You hate him, and you wanted to make an example of him and cut him down to size for being politically incorrect, for being an evil, racist, Nazi troll, so you could show everybody, look, see how I've changed? See how I embarrassed and exposed this guy as a washed-up old hack? who does this sort of comedy, see how much I've matured and I've grown and I'm able to reflect on irony and all that. that. Those were your intentions. Those weren't good intentions. To be perfectly honest with you, I think Sam Hyde actually had better intentions yep. than Ian did going into the thing. He didn't shit talk Ian during the entire process of it. He wasn't trying to get one over on Ian. He just allowed Ian to walk into the traps. Because he knew, because he wasn't an idiot, what your true intentions were, which was to produce a hit piece on him. So he fooled you and made you look stupid, and you're seething about it. But after, the, first of all, you weren't going to put out that documentary, and we all know you were never going to put out that documentary. Sam had to put out his own version of it, and they're going to go on. I don't know why he did that. He did that to screw us. It's because he emailed you multiple times asking, like, what's the progress on this to no response? And you were hoping that he just wouldn't put it out. But he did put it out, and then you were, like, in panic. Oh, my God, what do we do? Anyway, let's keep going yeah. here. There's, there's, a, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of points that they bring up that we'll address point by point by point. All right. But Every Sam went really lightly on him. Commentary YouTuber is just like grabbing this shit out of like a like a pipeline. It's being fed to yeah. them in a very what? and then they're like, "This is fat." Deliberate way, yeah. And it's like, I don't know. What, what are you gonna do? I'm there's an entire the industrial of... complex to f you guys over. Grabbing this shit. Out We're of the like, only ones who cover him, like. A fucking like a pipeline. It's being fed to yeah. them in a very and then they're like, like this who, is fat. deliberate does way. Does anybody yeah. know like who in commentary is continuously going after these guys to this day? Like, is it Nicholas Dorio? No one does. So. No one does. Is it Augie? I don't think so. Is Keemstar going after them on a daily basis? No, no I don't think so. Who who is it? Uh, is Tipster going after them? I don't think so. Tipsters uh, maybe with them they're politically. maybe they're just. Uh, associating us to commentary because we're commenting on them, but we're not. Commentary. I don't know. I mean, they just have a desire to be victims and to make shit up when it's not even there. Yeah. Nobody in the commentary community. That, no, no, I'm not familiar with I'm them. But I don't think it's us. What they're talking about. I I really assume it's us, but we're not commentary. So it's like, no, I don't know. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know. What What are you gonna do? I'm the type of partner where like. I don't care what he does, you know, I will support 99% of it. And the one thing that I don't support, Ooh. I'm like, spread your wings and do it. And I'll be over here playing Hearthstone and League of Legends until you come home. Yeah. And that was that scenario so, where it was like, by the way, she's 99%. such a 9%. Yeah. Shut the f up. But by the way, she's such a victim. She's so hard done by. Feel bad for her. Her career was saying, all she does in a day is play Hearthstone and League of Legends is what she just admitted to. Yeah. Her house is a mess. She doesn't clean. She doesn't cook. She can't even be bothered to brush her teeth, folks. Her entire life consists of playing video games and sitting on her ass. But we're supposed to believe that she's just this horrible, oppressed victim. Mm -hmm. That was the 1% that I was like, I'm not really interested in that. 
Mm-hmm. So Ian hired someone else, uh, a camera guy that you know mm-hmm. we interviewed and stuff, and went and did it. And I was terrified the whole time. But like, I'm not going to tell you what to do yeah. um, at all. And it, it's just crazy what that evolved into. Mm-hmm. You know, just yeah, like, but it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, no matter how we handled that, like when you get involved with someone like Sam Hyde, it's just like it's a, a, what? an absolute <laughs> headache. Yeah. Um, Pause. You, well, you but it didn't it didn't have to be no, at all. You, you went into this interview with an agenda, which was to expose him, to embarrass him. You didn't want to make a project with him. Like you had made with like Filthy Frank or Joji, you didn't want to make anything that was content or anything that was entertaining or that would make both of you look good. You came into this in an adversarial way and are now upset that your adversarial tone that you set led to you (laughs) getting destroyed by Sam Hyde. So you're upset that you didn't triumph in the adversarial scenario that you set up. Sam Hyde set up a lot of fun things for them to do. Like he had the slingshot, the car, he had the box, he had the car, the he had a lot under of the ideas. Bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a lot of ideas aside from just the gaslighting of iDubs, which he developed obviously because he thought, well, iDubs probably gonna come in in an adversarial fashion, and he made you look foolish, and you are naive like a child. And the thing is, you didn't do any research really on Sam, the sort of person that he was. Because you'd know right well that this shit, he was f***ing with you. Like, anything with Sam, you immediately have to go in your head, is he f***ing with me? And the fact that you had no skepticism and just believed that he was dating like a filthy crackhead and letting them smoke crack and stuff like that. Like, you're an idiot. You're a fool. And you, it, it, it just, it, it, when you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And after that documentary and everything, Sam didn't even start talking shit until you guys f***ed him over at Creator Clash. You didn't allow him into the building. You screwed over his team. I mean, it's obvious. I mean, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. And I hate to simp for Sam so hard, but I really genuinely believe that these people f***ed him and acted the fool. You put your foot in. No, that I agree. I agree. That mud. Yeah, and it, you're you're gonna lose your shoe. Yeah, your shoe's not coming home with you yeah. anymore. That's so fine. yeah, it's just been obvious. But even but Ash, even if I Dubs believed all that shit he was doing with the troll, right? Why not yeah. still release the f-ing doc? Like, what are you a b-? like? You know what I mean? Like, you did it. You may as well have like released it. Sleep like a fucking headache since then. Um, yeah. For the record, because I do feel like bringing this up. I do think that the impact of that would have been lessened by a lot if our documentary came out first. Mm. You really- that- so why didn't it? It was months Ish. and months and months. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Sitting on the shelf, and it's because you guys had boo-boo face because you looked stupid. And so you didn't want to put it out. And so then when Sam puts out his version, it makes it look like you guys didn't want to put out your version because you didn't. Well, he, well, at least reply to his email and go, oh, yeah, we're still working on it, but we have a schedule. We're we'll do one every four months. So we're waiting a month or whatever the f***, right? Like, that would have been fine. I that was on that. me. It was over a year before yeah. it came out. Oh, that it was f***ing, like, it was done. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. we would have sat. If, by the way, Ashton, if I, dub- okay, remember he did uh, Airsoft Fatty uh, it was called like Full Force or something. Yeah. He did, uh, who else? He did, he did, did oh, a- Dax Flame. If yeah. he had been, dude, done those documentaries for a year, for a year, maybe three a year, and did a Patreon, he'd be raking in the money. Well, and he may as well go back to doing them, but because the experience with Sam Hyde is so like mind broken him, Traumatizing, yeah. It traumatized him to the point that he doesn't want to do the documentaries anymore, which were doing really well for him. And they cope, oh, one day we'll do it again. Well, how about you just start doing it? How about you start what? producing good content? It made it seem like he was there to make a hit piece. Which is so weird to me. Uh, um, which is wrong. Um, it was a hit you, piece, and, though. Yeah, yeah. so... It, what, what was the reason that, uh, like, the editing... 
took so long? Did you just <gasps> not know how you were going oh! to like? He's like, could you shut the f up? Put things together. Well, I mean, you probably. Uh, I mean, cool. you can put it together, mm -hmm. right? From working with He's me for a while. He's stumbling and fumbling. I'm like a chronic procrastinator. Yeah. So then, why what? are you hiring? Like, what a crazy what? thing to it's say. Like one year. By the way, it's hang on. Wait, one year to edit this. Your job is to edit. Sam, hide. That would have been, been like two million views. It well, it was. It got over three million views, I think, on their channel. It was like, I think I wow. checked it yesterday. It was like 3.6 million views, but they didn't want to put it out because they were embarrassed of how felted they were. That's this, the truth. This is a big scam, I think. I think that's the problem is all But imagine of us bringing this back up. Like Sam hasn't talked about them in like a year. Like, you know, he's like had a truce with them. He's moved on. But they have to bring it back up and get one over on him yep. somehow because they can't just hold the L on this. Yep. None of us set deadlines nope. for ourselves or each other. Yeah. I should. Yeah, why, a lot of people why think, not? not a lot of people, but there's people out there that think that the documentary only came out because he put out his, which is not true at all. Our, no. like, thankfully, that... iDubs isn't even saying anything. Because he knows. he's like he's like lying. He can't li look. The documentary that you guys were making was like ninety percent done, basically. Right. When that it was more like seventy, but yeah, seventy. percent I mean, done. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait a minute! No, 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 no. So it was seventy percent done, but it took them another six weeks. Because I think it was six weeks after Sam put out his version that they finally got their version out. To me, it seems like they didn't even really start work on it. And with how rush job the rush job it was. Yeah, it was rushed. I think they only started on their version after Sam dropped. Well, they his were version. panicked and then went start on it ASAP. Start on the ASAP. And it still took six weeks. Yikes. Like it was a it was a bad decision because I don't know. I was no, being sure. very um I was being too fair. Yeah. Like oh, come to be honest, on. I, you were being pop. too fair. You were being too fair, buddy. Come I don't believe a word he on. says. Probably should have Come been a hit piece on. now what? that I know. This it should have been a hit. It should have been a hit piece. As if you could have done the hit piece legit. You know. You tried your best to bury him and you failed. And you resurrected his career. He's, he's never been doing better since the adult swim cancellation. Thanks to you and your up and i bet that burns bad buddy because <laughs> you've never been doing worse you've <laughs> never done worse than this you're a loser and a bum Ian. you're lower than the kino casino show yeah. do you understand like how it is bro you can't draw flies to shit your show can't even get five thousand replay views our clip channel is like six times the monthly viewership of yours. Our live stream actually has like viewers and engagement and super chats coming in. Like this guy has fallen so far and it's all his fault. He could try and blame Anissa and try and blame whatever, but ultimately the buck stops with him. He decided to be a cuck. He decided to put his balls in the chastity cage mm -hmm. and he reaps what he sowed how it all ended up yeah it's true <laughs> true because i was going in very it's really? very difficult obviously to be empathetic with sam hyde yeah in my is opinion, it though despite being a big fan of his comedy myself so whoa. wait okay whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. what the f what is he talking about what is he talking about dude I but don't even know. You pulled it's it off, and I was like, sweet. This is a solid dive. It's like a straight-up lie. S Sopranos ending. Just f***ing cut yeah. to black. Little one-two <laughs> punch that he had hidden behind his back. Whoa! And, uh, the one-two punch it. he had hidden behind his back. Like, did you tell Sam ahead of time what questions you were going to ask him during your press session? Did you tell him, hey, I'm going to ask about this, this, and this? Did you softball him? Was it a puff piece? No, it absolutely wasn't. 
So why is it considered like, oh, it was dirty what he did, the one-two punch behind his back, gaslighting us with this Danny stuff? Like, f*** you, man. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't understand. Like, why does he have to play by your set of rules and you have no rules whatsoever? You see how f***ing right? They're thinking it's f***ing. Yeah. Uh, lame. It's also the prolonged, you know? like, mm -hmm. I'm just sick of, like, the marathon that I feel like we've been. Yeah. I mean, running. it's just what happens when you deal with someone who like, uh, uses like harassment and uses people as entertainment. Hey, pause. And pause, pause, what? pause, pause. I really take particular on bridge with what he's saying here. Mm. Sam Hyde did not build his brand on harassment and going after other people. Do you know who did? You I dubs. I Dubs built his brand on content cop, on policing the internet, and on targeted harassment. Also, when the he... people from uh, from what's it called? Um, uh, like when you like raise money, Kickstarter, Kickstarter crap, yeah. shitting on people's yeah. Kickstarter stuff, right? Like Sorry. you know, like Sam Hyde. I'm sure he has done some targeted harassment or whatever the fuck. But the reality is, he did sketch comedy. He did stand up comedy, sketch comedy. He did like pranks and gags, like the TED Talks thing and stuff like that. Like you, on the other hand, have more of a claim to building your reputation off toxic targeted harassment. Which, by the way, it's also gay the way you're talking, anyhow. Like, remove the from thy mouth, sir. <laughs> Get a grip on reality. Yeah. For the comedy and the fun. Because yeah. for them, yeah, like, he it's. He had like, a television you know, show. Exactly. You are a commentary YouTuber. Right? Like, it's like, uh, it's so silly, dude. It's so silly. No, it, it sucks nothing out of you. It sucked yeah, nothing exactly. out of me. He literally to... used ice, Airsoft Fatty for content, ridiculing his living conditions, total exploitation filmmaking. Yep. And he's going to sit there and pretend he has the moral high ground when what he wanted to do was do this exploitative piece. Look at this YouTuber. He's fallen on hard times. He's washed. His girlfriend's a crackhead. Let me depict this. Let me go in on him for all the bad things he did to me in the past and other people and try and make him accept responsibility for evil hatred online through irony. Like, give me a f break. F you. Harass and berate and make jabs at people mm -hmm. uh, who, you know, didn't even want to know I existed. Yeah. Like, that took zero effort. Yeah. All day, you could do it all day long, and I'm not even doing the work. I could casually just f like. Welcome to the internet. Oh, but this is this is what he's saying though is that he would do this stuff. So he was okay with being the hammer, and this is the thing: everybody's okay with being the hammer, but nobody wants to be the nail. Yeah. And it's true with us as well. We love being the hammer. We hate being the nail. I Everybody love being hate the nail. Yeah, I bet. No, nobody, nobody likes being the nail, but sometimes you have to be the nail. Like yeah. sometimes you're just like people are going to make fun of you or point out your fault. There's nothing you can do. You can't control it. But he's just being a big baby here. Yeah. Imply that I'm talking about a particular person. In the comments. And the fans are yeah. just like, you want me to do what? I know. You want me to do what? I, can go, I, I could go over there right now yeah. and post some shit. I'm doing it. I did it. I posted 10 comments. Yeah. Who's off? That's what I'm saying. Oh. And, then, and then, like, our <laughs> therapists are like, and let's put a pin in that. And then oh, we. Oh, that's what my therapist does. I hate when. That's what my therapist does, too. Oh, uh, my God. Fucking so... phone goes off. Did it, did it. Oh, no, no. Did my did therapist it. doesn't use. Uh, oh they just. Uh, she just, like. They are so uh, traumatized. Wow. Like, this is the end result. They are so traumatized by not getting one over on Sam Hyde getting humiliated by Creator Clash, losing all that money, being proven that their ideas were stupid, that they have to go to a therapist, and the therapist doesn't even give a shit about them. He sets an alarm for when the time is up, and the very moment that that alarm rings, no matter how important it would be to address their issues in the therapy, let's put a pin in it. Time is up. And this is how they live their lives.